Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ed Fernandez RCJ. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence let us ask our Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. See you there, I'm there. 
O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to, to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the Book of Keys. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mehola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, and my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld. Nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the lights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters. But do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, 
and the spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to one another so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. everlasting life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him. Welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest, he said. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, no one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone. Please greet your seatmate with a smile. Good morning. When we were seminarians, no, part of our weekly schedule, spe specifically every Saturday, we have film showing. Inaabangan namin yan. No? Yan lang yung parang pagkakataon talaga. Makaka-relax ka eh. May klase. No? Monday hanggang Sabado. Pero sa Sabado ng gabi, manunod kami ng pelikula. Naalala ko po, meron akong napanood noon. Hindi ko lang matandaan yung title. Uh, ang bida dito, mga aso. Mga aso. Alam niyo yung aso, mga aso, di ba, pag dumaan sa, sa, sa kalya nyo, tapos may aso kayo, anong ginagawa ng aso nyo? Tatahol, di ba? So yun, dumaan yung aso, yung bida, Dumaan siyang ganun, tapos tinatahod siya, haw, haw, haw. hanggang maya maya, hinahabol na siya. Ang humahabol, mga dalawa, tatlo, hanggang naging lima, hanggang lahat ng daanan nila, 
yung mga aso doon tumataol at nakikihabol. At one point, yung buong kalye, punong-puno na ng aso. Hinahabol nila yung bida. No? Takbo, takbo. Ang bilis. No? Ang daming nagsusunuran talagang sandamakmak. Ang daming hanggang siguro kat- kat- katatakbo, kahahabol, yung mga nasa hulihan, napagod. Kasi tahol lang sila ng tahol. Ang problema, hindi nila kilala, hindi nila nakikita kung sino ba ang kanilang hinahabol. Palagay nyo, anong gagawin ng mga aso sa hulihan? Titigil. ba? Diba? Kasi hindi nila nakikita yung hinahabol eh. Tahol lang sila ng tahol. Ano lang nakikita nila? Panay puwet ng aso sa unahan. Pero yung, yung bang nasa dulo, yung hinahabol, naki- hindi eh. So at one point, those dogs at the end, those dogs who can, which cannot see the target, get tired and stop. Alam po ninyo, sa buhay kristyano, ganyan din tayo. Meron po tayong sinusundan, meron po tayong hinahabol. Sino yon? Si Kristo. Siya po yun eh. Yun nga lang, maraming kristyano, hindi sila nakatingin kay Kristo. Nakatingin sila kanino? sa mga taong sumusunod kay Kristo. At pagka yung mga sinusundan nila, nakita nila may mga sablay, may mga kapalpakan, anong nangyayari? Napapagod, pinanghihinaan ng loob, tumitigil. Amen? Bakit? Eh, ang tinitingnan mo lang yung kasama mo, yung kapwa mong nakikihabol, nakikisunod. Many people get tired following Christ because they lose sight of Christ who is the target. Brothers and sisters, our gospel today, our readings today, tell us about the urgency to follow Jesus. Following Jesus is not an option. It's not optional. It's not dependent on our moods. Following Jesus is urgent. Narinig nga natin dito, sabi, I will follow you, but first, let me bury my father. Alam po ninyo, in Israel, burying the dead is a very important obligation. But Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. In other words, yes, it's important, but more important than that solemn obligation is for you to follow me, for you to proclaim the good news. Brothers and sisters, let us not lose sight of Jesus whom we are following. Meron ho akong kaibigan. Family friend nila ako eh. No? Yung buong pamilya kaibigan ko. Saludo po ako dito sa pamilyang to. Napakalalim ng pananampalataya. Yung isang anak niya, the guy, no? all of them belongs to a community. No? To a certain community. And yung guy, talagang may leadership skills eh. May, may capability, magaling. He can handle people. He can manage people. No? At one time, meron silang pinuproduce na play. Kasama rin tong guy na to, yung anak, yung son. At one point, napolitika siya. Napolitika po itong guy. No? At siyempre yung nanay to the rescue, Nalungkot din at sabi niya dun sa anak niya, Anak, anak, huwag ka nang umaten dyan. Tama na. Tigilan mo na yan. At ako po'y nabagbag sa sagot ng anak. I was touched by the reply, the response of the son. You know what the son said? Nay, tutuloy ko pa rin ho itong aking ginagawa. Tama na anak, napupulita ka, napupulita ka, ka lang. Alam niya, napakaganda na sagot niya. Itutuloy ko pa ito, Nay, dahil kilala ko kung sino ang aking pinaglilingkuran. Napakaganda, mga kapatid. Klaro sa kanya kung sino ang kanyang pinaglilingkuran. Ito yung madalas kong sabihin sa mga parishioners. You are not serving the priest. Many people, they serve the priest eh. Many people nagpapalapad ng papel sa pare. Di ba? Kung ano-ano binibigay, papalapad ng papel. 
hindi po pare ang ating pinaglilingkuran. Hindi po si Aaron ang ating pinaglilingkuran. Dapat maliwanag sa atin sino ba ang ating sinusundan at sino nga ba si Kristo. Amen? Si Kristo at si Kristo lang. We are just useless servants. We are just useless instruments. Be clear. No? Sa mga parokya, ang dami po niyan. No? Ang daming nagpapalapad ng pape. Alala ko one time, Easter Vigil. Alam niyo Easter Vigil? Yung, yung madilim, yung paggabi, di ba? Yung the day before Easter, the night before Easter. So, may malaking kandila. Yung anong tawag doon? Pascal candle, Easter candle. Oh, yung malaking. Anyway, may isang medyo ma-epal doon eh. Ma-epal. So, after ng mass, no, nandun kami mga pare, kikwentuhan kami after the mass. Nagpapapansin talaga ito eh. So talagang pumunta siya, nakakontodo, naka-make up, naka-email the Marcos yung ano, no? talagang may bag pa, ikaw laki, ganun ganun. Pumunta siya dun sa harap, tapos tumitingin-tingin sa amin. Eh, dinidead, dead mahin nyo, dead mahin nyo, sabi ko. Ganun ganun siya. Lumapit dun sa kandila, tapos sabi niya, tapos titingin sa amin, dead mahin nyo, dead mahin nyo. hindi niya ma, ano, mapatay. No? Ginanon niya. Lahat ng kandila, napunta sa, na ano siya ngayon, na parafin yung mukha. No? <laughs> Buti nga sa'yo. <laughs> no, maraming ganyan sa parokya. Ano? Pag may bagong parish priest, hindi sila kilala. No, may mga ganyan. No? Good morning, tita. Good morning, father. Hmm, ba't parang masungit kayo ngayon? Parang suplada kayo? Because you don't need me anymore. Mm, taray, di ba? Because you don't need me anymore. Sabi ko doon sa kaibigan ko, sabihin mo, yung pare, sabihin mo, we need you, we still need you, but we need you to shut up this time. no? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, please know whom you are following. Don't just follow your co-chasers of Christ. Chase Christ. Follow Christ and focus your attention on Christ, on Christ alone. Please stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us lift to God all our needs and concerns and the needs and concerns of our community. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons be blessed with collaborators in the work of evangelization, forming them through Christ, who is at work even today. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who serve the country hasten to follow Jesus by reaching out to those who have no resting peace, those who suffer from injustice and poverty, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who are inclined towards destructive power strive to take the way of peace and resolve conflicts. May Jesus' words remind them that violence and hatred have no part in Christ's mission, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May young people called to priestly and consecrated life have the resolve of the prophets of, and of Jesus to persevere in their calling, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we be worthy to bear the name Christians, joyfully accepting the reality of the cross in our lives and giving priority to the values of the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for that grace to be able to surmount human factors, human obstacles in our following of Jesus. May we never lose sight of Him whom we are following in our life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
I invite you all to stand up. We have just received Jesus in our hearts, and with that, we have peace. Amen. Amen. And so we come now to sing to the Prince of Peace, our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are in our hearts. And with this, Lord, we know that we have peace, knowing full well that you are with us, that you're always with us. And so we sing to you now our praise. We respond to your love. We respond to your peace. We respond to your Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O oh Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Everyone is invited to stay and join the feast that will follow right after the Mass. And in behalf of the entire feast, Bellevue AM family, we would like to thank our Mass Presider, Reverend Father Ed Fernandez, RCJ, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Good morning! Good morning! Welcome to the feast! Come on, let's all stand up! As you stand up, can you greet the people around you? Pakingitian nga yung katabi nyo, pakisabi. Good morning! Alright, um, my name is Andrew and this is uh, my wife, Kire. We serve in the afternoon session of the feast. And we're very happy to serve here today. Are you very happy to be here today? Amen. I just want to share with you this word. Um, God's word says in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9, it says that know, know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who completes His promises for a thousand generations. And I don't know uh, what you're going through. You may have come through those doors uh, from a tough week. But regardless, I believe that the Lord is telling you today to stop worrying. Amen. Amen. So if you're ready to encounter, to let the faithfulness of God meet you where you are today, come on, give a shout of praise to Jesus. Or if you're ready to encounter His goodness, His blessings, come on, put your hands up. Sing this song with us. They're in the best and worst days of this life You were always on my side Come on, lift it up! You're in the pain, you're in the promise And on the days the furnace fights my faith You're the fourth within in the flames Come on, we sing it out! I don't need to know what a future is this Cause in the past you talk and you tell me this My God is a pretty shame He did it before he can do it again So I trust him in what God says For the God I know is known for faithfulness oh, oh, oh. And my hindsight says I can trust him oh, oh. Sing it out. My God isn't finished yet. If he did it before, he can do it again. So I'll trust him in what comes next. Cause my hindsight says I can count on this. My God isn't finished yet. If he did it before, he can do it again. So I'll trust him in what comes next.
many of you have come here to be inspired, to be refreshed by the Word of God. Yeah. I believe that just by singing, we are refreshed already. Amen. Today, our worship inspiration comes from the Word of God in Psalms. Our favorite book from the book of Psalms, chapter 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to His name. And you know, sometimes in our lives, I believe that we lose sight of God's goodness, of God's faithfulness. Many times we become restless with all the problems that we are going through. Minsan, nakakalimutan natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Kapag maraming problema, maraming iniisip, who here can relate to that? Amen. And as you come here to the feast this morning, I believe that God wants us to be reminded that victory has already been won 2,000 years ago. That it is already done. It is finished. And as we journey towards our own victory, God wants us to know that He is our shepherd and that He is always with us. And so I invite you as we come into prayer this morning, come into the presence of God with trust. Because I believe that we can never go wrong in trusting God fully and wholeheartedly. Amen? If you're ready to worship, let's come and make the sign of our faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I have this confidence because I've seen the faithfulness of God the still inside the storm the promise of the shore I trust the
inside Jesus. We can let go of our fears, of our worries. Before me, behind me, always beside me, no shadow, no valley, where you won't find me. Come on, lift up your voices to God. As we continue to let go of our fears, as we continue to let go of our worries of what's ahead of us or what's in front of us, Lord, we just stand and know in faith that if you've done it before, then surely you will do it again. We know that surely there is more in store for us because of your victory. Because we know full well that victory has been won. Because God, your victory is our victory as well. And God, we worship you today in confidence, not only because you are faithful, but we know because you are able. You are an able God. You rise above every situation, every trial, every problem, every sickness, every worry. And so we just lift your name on high today. We worship you, God. We lift our hands to you. We sing this song to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All the worries of this world I will lay them at your feet Surrender every anxious thought for perfect peace, your perfect peace. Come on, we sing. All the loved ones I hold dear, and all my hopes and dreams and all my fears, I would choose to trust your name in everything. In everything.
one of you believe that the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, reigns over your life today, come on, why don't you lift up your hands to Him? Just sing your praises to Him. But this is what we believe today. This is what we believe. Hallelujah. this morning. Parang mahina. Are you ready to be blessed even more? And so let's welcome our dear builder and friend, Brother Arun Godna. Thank you. Ang sarap pala tinatawag ang pangalan. Good morning. Embrace your friends, your loved ones, and tell them I am happy you are here. Let's pray our favorite prayer together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I... Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word, so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I am blessing the world, in Jesus' name, amen. Lift up your hands toward the Word of God as a sign that you would like to listen to Him and follow Him. The One big message of this talk, and I want you to believe in this, is this. The best is yet to come. Tingnan nyo nga yung katabi ninyo, buhay pa ba? Alam mo bakit buhay pa yan? Alam mo bakit buhay ka pa? Tanong mo sa akin, bakit? Because the best is yet to come. 
Our talk today will be, it's entitled Exit. This is for those who will be not exiting. <laughs> Yung mga 60 up. Sino kayo? Taas ang kamay. Mga senior. Yan. Yeah, Alright. Give a big hand to them. <clears throat> Why exit? Because when you become a dual citizen. Ako, dual citizen. Bakit dual? Filipino citizen? Senior citizen. No? So when you become a dual citizen, little by little, you need to exit old roles. Alis ka na dyan. Exit ka na. You need to exit old jobs. You need to exit old positions, old responsibilities. And also, yes, prepare your exit from this world. Handa, maghanda na. Alam mo, pagka pinag-uusapan ng kamatayan, ang mga tao, allergic dyan. Pag pinag-uusapan, huwag natin pag-usapan yan. And many people live their lives pretending they will live forever. Pretending lang. Meron akong joke sa inyo. Ready? Ready? Anong prutas ang hindi namamatay? Tanong sa akin, ano? Abo Cardo. Abo Cardo. Kailangan niyo ba si Cardo? <laughs> Hindi na mamatay yun. Abo Cardo. You know about death, St. James in the New Testament said these words, Come now. You who say today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit, yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. When you read James, James is the wisdom book of the New Testament. Kaya wala siyang flow. Banat lang ng banat ng wise sayings. Yan ang book of James, ha? Para alam din niyo. Pero yun ang sabi niya. Kaya kung feeling mo, you're a big shot. James says, you are a microscopic vapor droplet floating in the air. Sige nga, sabihin niyo nga yun. Microscopic vapor droplet floating in the air. Sige nga. Dapat ganun din yung bibig niyo. Parang si Mike Enriquez. Microscopic. Alam niyo sa Tagalog yon Singaw. O tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa kanya, singaw ka lang. <laughs> yun talaga. Your lifespan is three seconds. Yun ang gusto niya sabihin. Huwag ka na magyabang. Bakit? Nako. Jesus preached about this as well. And he told them this parable. And look. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich toward God. You got it? Can I share a very practical thing? Pwede po ba? If you are 50 and above, hindi ho kasama dyan. If you're 50 and above, when you go home today, or now, if you're sitting here, tapos feeling mo, the Lord is impressing on you, please do this. Get two pieces of paper and write two important documents. Living will and last will. Sabi nyo nga po yan. If you love your family, you will do this. 
Sino rito ang 50 up, tapos mahal niya ang pamilya niya, taas mo ang kamay. Please do this. I will explain to you. Maganda nakatayo kayo para pumunta, hindi lang sa utak nyo, pati sa paan nyo. <laughs> ha? Ano yung living will? This is a document in your own handwriting that tells your family what you want to happen whenever you will be in a critical condition. Kunyari, bigla kang nirush sa hospital. Tapos critical ang buhay mo. Alam mo kung sino magdidesisyon yan? Kung itutuloy ang buhay mo o hindi? Yung mga naiwan mo. Mahirap ko desisyonan yan. Pumasok ako sa sitwasyon na ganyan sa tatay ko. 19 years old ako. Ako magdideside kung tatanggalin na yung life sus, uh, support ng tatay ko. Ay, nakakabaliw po yun. Pero kung meron kang living will, sasabihin mo doon, anak, huwag nyo na akong i-resuscitate. Kung di mo alam ang spelling ng resuscitate, <laughs> patay ka, di ba? <laughs> patay ka. Do you want them to give you feeding tubes? Sasabihin mo yun. Do you even want to be brought to the hospital? Or do you want to die at home? For example, if you don't want a machine to keep your comatose body alive, write it down in your living will. Sasabihin mo, pag ako ay koma na, wala na yan. Wag na. Oxygen lang at saka dextrose. Yun lang ang pwede. Pero yung mga ganyan, pwede na hong tanggalin. Kaya lang, wag kami ang magtatanggal. Ikaw ang nagsabi. Para ano, no one will have to unplug the machine and carry the guilt that they killed you. Are you getting this? Imagine mo, nakahiga ka. Nakahiga ka, tapos ubo ka ng ubo. Uh, uh, sabi mo, anak, uh, bigyan mo ako ng gamot. Uh, sabi ng anak mo, eh, sabi ho sa living will nyo, wala ka ng gamot. Binato ka mo yung anak mo, po, ubo lang to, ubo. No? So, iba yon ha? Pang-critical condition ito. Pang-critical, ayan, eh, yun ang sabi eh. Kasi nakakatulong ho yan sa mga iiwan nyo. You get it? Very practical. Second document is called the last will and testament. Also, done in your own handwriting. Kahit din nyo panotaryohan, basta sinulat ng kamay po ninyo, ha? It states how you want your estate to be managed and who gets what. Sinong kukuha nito? Sinong kukuha ng bahay? Sinong kukuha ng lupain ko? Sa ganyan, sinong, yan, yung kotse. O paghati-hatian nyo, tapat kayong magkakapatid, ha? Sulat mo, sa iyo yung isang gulong sa harap. Gulong sa likod. Ganon. Hati. Kailangan nakasulat. Bakit? Kasi ho, pag wala yan, pinag-aawayan nila pag wala ka na. Tapos suggestion ko sa iyo, isalin niyo ako. Tagapagmana, arunggog na. O, tamo, rhyming pa. ba? We have our ministry of attorneys and lawyers are giving their services to you today. Our flame ministry will have a free consultation at the lobby downstairs. Today, for everybody. Nako ko ako, pumalakpak na ako kanina pa. Libre. Anong gagawin nyo? Pagkatapos ng feast, pagbaba ninyo dito, punta kayo dito sa ilalim, doon sa escalator ko sa kay umakyan, nandoon ang flame ministry natin. Libre ho ang consultation. Punta kayo, kung meron kayong mga dokumento, magtanong na kayo, pakita ninyo. Anong gagawin ko dito? Apat ang anak ko, papamanahan ko, ask. Because this is the very important day and they are giving their services for free. Why? Kasi these two documents will save a lot of confusion and conflict in your family. Please have mercy on your loved ones and write these two documents. Yes? But you know who benefits the most? You. You benefit the most. Because when you are seriously facing your exit, you become wiser. 
mas nagiging matalino ka. Pag ano, sinusulat mo na eh. Ito ang gusto ko mangyari pag mag exit na. Pinag-iisipan mo na na ano, mamamatay nga rin ako. Huwag lang ngayon. No? You become wiser. Scripture tells us, teach us, O Lord, how short our life is so that we may become wise. Another um, text says, teach us, O Lord, to number our days. Yan yun. Nusulat mo, Lord. Ninanumber ko na. Di na yun masyadong matagal. Sa edad kong to, siguro, mga 20 years na lang. Di ba? So, anong gagawin ko? Ito mga anak. O, oh, ito ang document ko, ha? Para pag-exit ko, maganda. You become wise. And today, let the Lord teach you how to exit graciously and life. Put your hands upon your heart, close your eyes, bow down your head. Lord, teach us today how to number our days. Teach us, O oh Lord, so that we will be wise. And Father, we thank you for bringing us here. We know you will speak to us in different seasons of our lives. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me, brothers and sisters, my dear friends. Just to be honest with you, tingnan niyo po ako. Pwede niyo bang i-close up yung mukha ko? Talagang close up, ha? Sa kaya ba ng camera? Para kahit saan ka man, yan. Ito lang gusto ko sabihin sa iyo galing sa aking puso para sa iyo. Dahil mahal kita. Sasabihin ko sa iyo yung katotohanan. Ready? Ready? Ready. Mamamatay ka rin. <laughs> oh. Ay, naku, totoo, totoo yun. <laughs> yun ang katotohanan. Mamamatay ka rin. But here is the thing. If you are a Jesus follower, that statement will never scare you. It will never scare you. Na mamamatay din ako? Nakakatako. It will never scare you. Why? Because where you follow Jesus does not matter. Sa lupa, sumusunod ka. Sa langit, so kahit Lord, kahit saan. Dito, sa langit. Basta sumusunod ako sa iyo. As long as you are with Jesus, my dear friends, the best is yet to come. Just follow Jesus. And that is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. Bless His name. Thank you, Jesus. As you sit down, tell people around you, the best is yet to come. So many people look at the last stage of their lives and they think in a very negative way. Guilty tayo sa ganyan. Na pag tumatanda na, negative na ang tingin sa ating buhay. Naalala ko yung kwento ni Chris de Guzman tsaka ni Lani, yung mga district leaders natin. Years ago, nagkaroon sila ng LG, yung small group gathering. Tapos ito, nagbimit sila regularly, mga once a month, nagbimit. Ito yung mga old light of Jesus, ibig sabihin mga original yan, sama-sama sila. Tapos, napansin nila na every time nagsisharing sila, ang pinag-uusapan palagi ay arthritis, ang pagtaas ng kolesterol, ang mga BP nila, yung mga sakit na nararamdaman. Yun ang palaging pinag-uusapan. Tapos next, ma makikita sila, yun na naman. May sakit ako, may arthritis, gartritis, appendicitis, lahat na lang. 
So alam mo, maya-maya after a few months, sabi nila, pwede bang tigilan na natin ang LG na ito? Ha? Kasi walang nangyayari. Lahat lang tayo dumadaing ng dumadaing. So anong ginawa nila? Sinara na nila yung LG. Maghanap na lang tayo ng iba't ibang LG. Yun yung mahirap eh. Pag nagsama-sama yung matatanda, minsan nahihila ng negative na ano, na oh, wala na tayo. Why? Because sometimes or most of the time, they see the graph of this of their life this way. Tingnan niyo tong graph na to. Yan. Pansin niyo? In the first stage, you launch yung bata ka. In the second stage, you ascend. In the third stage, you peak. And in the fourth stage, you decline. Kaya pag nagde-decline na, ano nang pinag-uusapan? Negative na. I believe that graph is wrong. Because you are not just a physical being. No. You are a spiritual being. Yes, your body parts may malfunction already, but you are more than a physical being. You're a spiritual being. And your immortal soul has the limitless capacity to keep on growing. So as you grow older, you can become more loving, more selfless, more merciful, more grateful, more humble. This is how I want you to look at your life today or our life in general. It is like this. Ano po yan? Basketball. There are four quarters in a basketball game. And the fourth quarter is the most important quarter of the basketball game. The fourth quarter is the most important quarter of your life. Kaya pag ikaw ay umabot dun sa fourth quarter, yun ang pinakamahalaga. Hindi yan yung pabaksa. Ito ang mahalaga. Ito, magyayabang lang ako sa inyo ng konti. Ha? Nung panahon ko mag-basketball, di ba, kinuwento ko na sa inyo na sinusundo ako sa bahay, di ba, ng parada para dalin lang kasi star player. Ito na. One time, sumundo ang mga tao, wala ang bida. Bakit? May mission ako eh, sa baklaran. So I was running late to the game. Alam ko may game, kaya ang ginawa ko, yung uniform ko ng basketball, dinala ko na habang nagbimission sa baklaran. Kasi pag uwi ko, naka-forma na ako para maglaro. Kasi alam ko, malilate ako. Tapos nako, ang kala ko, malilate lang ako ng first quarter. Sa sobrang traffic, sa sukat, umabot ako ng pagdating ko ng game, third quarter. Pagpuesto kong ganon, third quarter, tamba kami ng 20. 20 points. Alam nyo, pagdating kong ganyan, lumapit ako sa coach. Yung coach, tinignan ako ng masama. Sabi ng coach sa akin, ba't ngayon ka lang? Ah, kasi po, meron kaming gawain sa simbahan. Umupo ka. Ganon. So, upo. Tapos, alam mo, hindi na niya ako pinansin the whole time. Hindi niya ako pinasok. Star player, hindi naglalaro. Bente ang lamang ng kalaban. Paano kami mananalo? So, ako nakaupo doon. Gigil na gigil. Yung talagang, mm, kaya, ang dali-dali, hindi na ipasok. Hindi na agad. Yung, mm, gigil na gigil. Alam mo, gusto kong kantahin sa loob-loob ko, yung kanta ng, wala ka bang napapansin? Wala ka bang napapansin wala ka bang napapansin hindi niya ako pinapansin pagkatapos ng third quarter tambak, 20 pa rin fourth quarter gog na, tinawag ako para akong to, ito malo na gano'n <laughs> pasok ka na, gano'n nako end of the game 20 ang lamang namin. Bakit? Sa gigil ko, ginandahan ko talaga. Pinas break ko, ako rin kumuha. Yung mga ganon. <laughs> sa gigil. Alam mo, sadya niya talaga na manggigil ako. Kasi alam niya, pagpasok nito, gagandahan nito eh. Sinadya ng coach. Kasi alam din niya, Ang fourth quarter ang mahalaga. My dear friends, in your life, the fourth quarter 
is the most important quarter. What you do in the fourth quarter will win or lose the entire game of your life. So this is how your life should look like. This is the graph. Tingnan niyo mabuti. Pataas. I believe your last stage can be the, la the best stage of your life. Amen? So how do you do this? Finish strong. Kung katabi niyo mas may edad sa inyo, tapikin niyo lang. Finish strong. Sabihin mo, finish strong. Starting strong is important. Mag-uumpisa ka ng malakas, mabilis, ay mahalaga. But finishing strong is a thousand times more important. Scripture tells us, Paul told Timothy, I have finished the race. Will you be able to say those words too? Will you finish the race that God has set before you? Will you follow Jesus till the end? Your best years are before you, not behind you. The best is yet to come. Ay, ako'y naniniwala. Bakit? Buhay ka pa eh. Kung ako si Lord, tapos wala nang best to be given to you, naibigay ko na lahat, hindi na kita bubuhayin, kukunin na kita, uwi ka na. Bakit? Wala na ako mabibigay pa. Eh, meron pa. The best is yet to come. Tapikin niyo yung tatlong katabi niyo. Dali, kahit sino yan. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Let's go back to David. King David, the central theme of our entire series stages. David's fourth stage was not pretty. Hindi humaayos. Nakakalungkot. Ang ganda ng umpisa, pero yung panghuli niya, hindi na masyado maganda. Ano ma maganda naman sa Bible? The Bible does not sugarcoat its stories. Kung ano yung totoo, lalagay nila. May exaggeration lang konti, pero hindi nila tinatakpan. Kung mali, mali. In the last years of the life of David, his sons were fighting over his kingdom. Pinag-aawayan yung kaharian niya. Ay, nako. Yung umpisa pa lang, his son Absalom, yung anak niya, revolted and proclaimed himself king. Imagine, lumaban sa tatay, nagtayo ng sariling ano, at ako ang hari. Until this man, Absalom, was killed by David's men. Another, when David was old and frail, nasa deathbed na, mamamatay na, yung isa niyang anak, si Adonijah, anong ginawa? Aagawin yung kaharian niya. Buti na agaw nung isa na ibigay kay Solomon. Kung hindi, walang King Solomon. Pero ganun yung panahon niya, talagang, siguro hindi siya magaling na magulang. I repeat, the fourth stage is about letting go. You let go of old roles. And what do you do? You embrace new roles. You do this in every stage of your life, actually. Every stage you do that. But you do it specially in fourth stage. The fourth stage, again, is about letting go of old roles and embracing new ones. And parenting is the most obvious example. Who are parents here? Can you see the hands of God? Yan. Yan ang practice na sa atin. In my parenting talks, I always give this analogy. The different hats that we wear. The controlling hat, coaching hat, and consulting hat. Each represents a role you play as a parent. If you want to be a good parent, you need to change your hats as your kids grow old. Or, Everyone will suffer. Your children will suffer. You will suffer. This is the first hat you wear, controlling hat. Pag ang mga anak natin ay maliliit pa, you control them. You tell them, anak, huwag mong gawin yan. Isuot mo to. Kainin mo to. Huwag mong dilaan yung kuryente yan. Aya, controlling. Di ba? Kailangan mo sabihan anong gagawin. Bata eh. Pag lumaki na yan, teenager na, my dear friends, you remove your controlling hat. Hindi na yan mag-work. 
kukunin mo na yung ano? Coaching hat. Ano ang coaching hat? Ang coaching hat, bawal pumasok sa court. Technical ka. Dito ka lang. Tagasabi dun sa player, sa anak mo, anak, ganito mo gawin. Halika rito, coach. Tapos ikaw maglaro. Pinanunood mo yung anak mo. Pero hindi ka kasalin masyado. Pag ito'y may asawa na at nagsarili na lalo na ng sariling bahay, tanggal ang coaching hat. Anong isusuot? Consultant hat. Kinukonsulta ka na lang. Tandaan nyo, kinukons- sasagot ka lang pag kinukonsulta ka. Hello? Pag hindi kayo kinukonsulta, shut up. Ay, shut up. Kaya nagkakaproblema ang mga biyenan. Di ba? Bakit? Kasi nakakontrolling hat pa rin. Sinasabi sa anak, anak kita kahit kailan, maliit ka man o malaki, anak kita. Oh, anak mo siya, but you don't need to parent them anymore. You are a parent, but you don't need to parent them. Why? Because you are wearing your consultant hat already. Are you getting this? Sa mga biyenan, taas po ang kamay ng mga biyenan. Yan. Okay. Mga biyenan, please, huwag na ninyong pakialamanan ang kurtina ng manugang nyo. Okay? Ha? Huh? Ah, pagdating mo sa bahay nila, yung kurtina mali ang kulay. Hindi bagay sa bahay. Kurtina niya 'yun. Huwag mo nang pakialamanan. Minsan pipigilin mo talaga sarili mo makialam sa pag-aalaga ng anak nila. 'Di ba? Yung talagang pigilin mo. Gusto mo sabihin mali yung ang daya pero hindi sa mukha. Ay, pigilin mo 'yan. Marirealize din niya yan mamaya. Ha? Ganun talaga. So at this stage of your life, how do you let go? Yan na, mahirap eh. I give you two very powerful keys. Practical and spiritual. The first key is to create your second act. Can you say second act? Second act is, the second act of your life is when you devote your life to something after retirement. I give talks to retirement, uh, to companies on retirement. Tapos meron ako isang binigyan ng kumpanya. Yung kapitbahay namin, nandoon si Tito. Pagkatapos ng talk, lumapit sa akin, sabi niya, ang ganda-ganda ng talk, very, very practical. Thank you. Sabi ko, salamat po dito. Tapos after one year, nakita kami sa village, sa amin. Alam mo, sabi niya, Aaron, napakaganda talaga ng talk mo. Hindi ko pa rin makalimutan. Ginawa ko yung mga sinabi mo. Inabangan ko yung dapat kong abangan. Tama ka na pag nag-retire na ako sa trabaho, magkaka-conflict kami ng misis ko. Tama ka. Bakit sila nagka-conflict? Naging pakailamero siya. Kasi sa bahay, kain, bihis, alis. Pagbalik niya, konti lang tulog. Eh, wala ng trabaho. Palaging nandun, kasama ang misis. Naku, nag-aaway. Yung mga baliktad na mga base, tabi nga, inaayos niya. Yung misis niya, ganito ang gusto ko. Hindi, ganito gusto ko. Ganito gusto ko. Silang talawa, maliliit na bagay. Buti na sabi ko daw. Bakit? Naayos ko na. Naintindihan ko na. Nag-iingat, hindi, na sila nag-aaway. hindi sila nag-aaway masyado. Pero ito yung sinabi niya. You know, I found my second act. Yan. Pag ikaw ay nag-retire, look for your second act. Alam mo yung second act niya, dahil wala na siyang trabaho, retired na. Ang second act niya is serving our parish. Grabe ang ministry niya sa parokya. You know, your second act, that this time you pray to God, Lord, what do you want me to do for you? Yan ang panalangin. Instead of focusing on your role, you focus on your mission. Second act. Tapikin mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, find your second act. But more than the practical, let's go deeper. This is the spiritual. The second key to let go is to know you are loved. You are loved. Listen, my dear friends, you are not your role. You are not your role. You are far bigger than your role. Ito pong trabaho ko, I'm a preacher, speaker. But what if I lose my voice? 
Kunyari, hindi na ako makapagsalita. What if I get too old to speak? What if no one invites me to speak anymore? Does it mean that I'm a lesser human being if I can no longer preach? Yan ang malaking tanong. The answer is, absolutely not. Hindi porkit hindi ako marunong na magsalita, hindi na ako mahalaga. My work is not my worth. My title is not my truth. I can let go of everything, my job, my possession, my role, and my identity should always be still intact. You are not your role. You are not your title. Why? Because there is one thing that no one can ever take away from me. Ask me what? I am God's beloved. I am God's beloved. Yun yung pangahawakan mo. Hindi na ako nagtatrabaho nito. Pero ako naman ay mahal ng Diyos. I am. A while ago, I gave you the first key. Instead of focusing on your role, focus on your mission. Here is the second key. Instead of focusing on your role with God, focus on your relationship with God. Focus on your relationship with the Lord. We are talking about death. Everyone will die. But please do not be afraid of death. Why? Because the one you follow, remember, overcame death. Jesus has overcome death. That is why, let me declare this to you, death will not have the last say. Jesus will have the last say. He will have that last say. And death is not an ending. Death is a beginning. Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Let me share with you a story from that happened in the life of Ai Ai de las Alas. Kilala niyo po ba yan? Si Ai Ai po ay kasama natin sa community. Feaster yan. Ma-attend, attend minsan sa feast ni Bo. Pero it's really supported our community. So last Monday, may concert po kami sa Araneta Coliseum. So I, I was there. Si Alden Richard was there, Eric Santo, Aaron Gogna, yung mga sikat eh. So nandun kami na concert sa Araneta. Punong-puno yung Araneta Coliseum. Tapos may, may kwento si I, I eh, kung hindi niyo po alam. 2003, si Ai Ai talagang nagdasal ng mabuti kasi sabi niya, Lord, itong karir ko, parang pa-decline na, sabi niya. Ang makakalipad na lang nito ay itong pelikula na to. Kaya alam niyo, nung the night before the opening day of his movie, Nasa baklaran yan. Nagdadasal. Nakaluhod. Gumagapang. Naglalakad pa luhod. Para sabihin kay Lord, Lord, i-bless niyo yung opening. Mahalaga ang opening yan eh sa mga Filipino movies. Pag maraming nanood ng opening, grabe, papanoorin na ng lahat. So talagang very crucial ang movie na ito, 2003. Ang pamagat ng pelikula ay Tanging Ina Mo. Naalala niyo yan? Ang tanging ina mo, di ba? Para nagmumura, no? no? So yun yung pelikula niya. Sabi niya, Lord, i-bless nyo naman. Ganyan. Tapos uwi na siya, tulog siya. Pagising niya ng umaga, nako. Pagpunta niya ng banyo, nakita niya sa bintana ng banyo niya, napakalakas ng ulan. Ang lakas-lakas ng ulan. Yung hangin, yung mga puno, bumabayo talaga. Signal. Number three. May signal number three sa Maynila. Sabi niya, na, Lord, ako iyak. Hingi ng awa. Panginoon, paano na to? Signal number three. Kita mo, kita niya, oh, bagyo talaga. Inannounce na, signal number three. Opening day ng pelikula niya. 
So, anong ginawa niya? Iyak, dasal. Tapos mayamay ang hapon. Nababalitaan niya sa mga news na napakadaming pila sa kanyang pelikula. Ang haba daw ng pila. So, siya, ano nangyari? Sabi ng mga taong nakapila, wala hong pasok ngayon. Kinansel. Kaya nanonood kami ng sine. Grabe. Nakatulong pa ang bagyo. Kaya of all time ng pelikula ni Ai Ai, ang tanging ina mo ang number one. It broke a lot of box office hits in the Philippines. Bakit? May bagyo. Walang magawa ang mga sudyante kundi pumila at manood. Mga naka-uniform. Pinauwi. E sa kayo pupunta? Mall. Walang kuryente sa bahay. Mall tayo. Nood sila. May bagyo ba ang buhay mo ngayon? Jesus has the last say. Not your bagyo. Not your situation. Si Jesus ay may huling salita. And He is telling you, the best is yet to come. In every season of your life, I want you to believe that God was there. You might not see Him physically, but He was there, guiding you and will guide you and will see you through. This is who your God is. Let's come to Him in prayer and surrender. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Close your eyes and just bow down your head. Lord, thank you for being with me. Minsan di kita nararamdaman. Kaya natatakot ako. Minsan nakala ko mag-isa lang ako, Panginoon. But thank you for reminding me that no storm can stop you from blessing me. Thank you for telling me today that you have the last say. Nakakatakot, Panginoon, ang mga darating na araw. Hindi ko kasi alam kung ano mangyayari. Pero ito na yung pangahawakan ko na nandun ka na sa aking kinabukasan. That you are in my future and you are preparing the best part of my life. And so now, Lord, I'm very excited, not anymore afraid, but excited because you go before me. You are with me, Jesus. You are forever in my life. You see me through the sea. Cover me with your hand and lead me in your righteousness and I.
are in different seasons of our lives. We pray that as we take our step, be there always, O oh God. Dalangin ko sa iyo, Panginoon, ang bawat isa sa amin. Kung nag-aalinlangan pa rin kami sa iyo, if we are still doubting your love for us, Give us a glimpse. Give us a touch of an experience of your great love for us. Yes, Lord. So that we will be confident in taking our next steps. May we always see you and believe that you are faithful to us. And also we pray, O oh Lord, that we will remain faithful to you. May those who will come after us find us faithful, O oh Lord. And we believe that death is not the final word. You have the final words, O oh God, because you conquered death. That is why we are a people. We are a hallelujah people because you are alive, O oh Lord. You are our living God, and we follow you, and we believe the best is yet to come. You are a living God. Holy is your name. Glorify your name. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. people around you, people you love, and tell them the best is yet to come.
As we prepare for our giving, be seated, listen to the announcements. Before the announcements, let's welcome our first-timers. If this is your first time at the feast, Ayan, palakpakan naman natin yung mga first-timers. Ayan, first-timers, can we invite you to stand up, please, para ma-welcome namin kayo. All those who've come here. Yay! Ayan, pag may katabi kayong first-timer, pakasabi, welcome to the feast. Alright. As one family, ay, tayo po muna tayo, we'll pray for you. Ayan. Let's extend our hands to them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing these people to our feast. Thank you for bringing them home to you. Lord, we pray that we may, they may find this feast, their Sunday home with you and with us. Journey with them, Lord. We know that you are in every step of their spiritual journey. Lord, reveal yourself more to them. And we look forward to journeying with them here at the feast. Bless them and all their hearts' desires. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome. Ayan. After the feast po, ayan, follow the signs yung mga may new attendees. Ayan, we have a special gift for you. All right. Ayan. For announcements, we have the first announcement. Let's call Sister Linda. Let's give her a round of applause. Morning po ulit. I'm here again every quarter of the year to uh, launch again our fundraising campaign for Anna Wim. Yung pong Anna Wim, yung po yung foundation ni Brother Bo for elderly, yung abandon the elderly. Uh, so we asked. Uh, Brother Arun, that we can come every three months to ask for your help. Uh, as of now po, meron na tayong 80 elderly na alaga. So, we really need your help for their monthly subsistence. We spend around 900,000 for monthly for their, ano, uh, for their everything, caregivers, their food and everything. Po. So we really have to go out uh, from one phase to another to ask for support. Kasi po parami ng parami. By the end of this year, ang target po namin maging 100 sila. And we invite you po to come and visit us also in Anawim. So you will see the development of the place. Uh, nakapagtayo na po kami ng anim na bagong buildings na tirahan nila. And everything is new. We have the Adoration Chapel. We have the cooperative store. We have our stock rooms. We have our uh, modernized kitchen. Yung pong ganon. So we try to give the best to the elderly that we take care uh, in Anawim. So wag po kayong magsasawa sa pagbigay ng tulong sa amin. Kailangan po namin talaga ang tulong ninyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Sister Linda. Let's support Anawim. Ayan yung mga nasa ano, na exit stage. <laughs> All right. Next announcement. <laughs> ayan. So again, ayan, sinabi ni Brother Arun kanina that we have um, yung flame ministry, yung free consultation po sa baba. So right after the feast, you can ask for legal advice. Ayan. Ito, merong... Ayan, free legal aid ministry encounter. Ayan, so we're giving away this po. So yung mga gustong mag-inquire um, later or to ask for advice, please approach our ministry downstairs. All right. Ayan, lalabas din yan. <laughs> Yeah, next.
next announcement, we have our healing ministry also at the feast. So our healing ministry needs additional servants. So those who are interested both to serve under the healing ministry are invited to attend the healing seminar on July 13 from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Feast Center. Ayan, sa fourth floor po ng Festival Mall. And ayan, so pre-registration is required. So sign up po tayo sa Tower Wing Lobby or contact Brother Leon Tibia. Ayan po, for healing ministry. And ayan, last announcement is we have a book entitled Enjoy Your Age, How to Claim the Blessings of Your Season by Brother Bo Sanchez. So get copies for you and your loved ones at the book table. Thank you. The Anna Wim, I think you have the... May sobre ba silang nandyan? So this is 10 pesos. So kung kaya ng consensyon yung maglagay ng 10 lang. <laughs> Bahala. No? So you can give more, ha? Huh? You can give more. So may booth po sila doon. You can also give the, your donation to that booth or here in the... Love offering. Nandun po yung sa sobre po din yun, ha? So, let's, let's support this. This is our community's ministry to help the poor, the abandoned, elderly. Alright, so you can put there as well. Let's all stand and let me pray for your giving. Lift up your offering, your tithe. Just bow down your head and close your eyes. Father, we thank you for wonderful words that you have given us today. Lord, we want to give you our blessings, a little of the blessings you have given us. We want to give this back to you in return. Use it for your greater glory here on earth. And I ask, O oh Lord, that you give this back to my brothers and sisters a hundredfold to bless them in their lives, family, and their ministries and say yes to the prayers written there in jesus name we pray amen come brothers and sisters with joy give to the lord i don't need to know what the future says you see the past can talk if you tell me this my god is the finisher if it didn't be for Sing it with us. My God isn't finished yet. If it did it before, He can do it again. So I trust Him in what comes next. Cause my heart's not safe. I can count on it. 